in a lot of ways, a literary translator is almost like an agent. You're a, mm -hmm. you're a literary agent for your author. Not only are you yes. translating their work, you but have to go and sell it to people. Their work. You know. Um, Very true. So, yeah. So I think, that, I mean, so that was my journey getting, you know, and the markets are different. Uh, in in India, when Ratno Dholi came out, even though it was virtual and the pandemic was going on, it did get coverage in most of the major venues, right? Um, the Hindu, Hindustan Times, and all of them, you know, everybody wanted to talk about it because Gujarati, first time they're seeing that translation, right? Mm. Now, in the US, it's different. In the US, only less than 3% of the total published books in the American market is translated. are translated, less than 3%. Now, so you're competing with a lot of other books that are published in English. And so a lot of the media coverage that happens, whether it's, you know, the best books of so-and-so to watch out for, or the best books to, you know, all those best books lists mm. and um, interviews and all of that, very little coverage, even for translations from European languages, right? So forget an Indian language that nobody can even pronounce, Gujarati, you know, <laughs> what is the <laughs> Dumketu, they can't even pronounce. So it's harder, much harder to get attention for a translated work from India 